for your down payment. Smith Motor Company, the used car supermarket of the Southeast, with over 35 years of selling you and your neighbor clean used cars. Buy now during the Price Buster Sale at Smith Motor Company, 300 South Oaks in Dothan. <laughs> It's all over, folks. The official results are in from a major taste test. And if you think that Diet Sprite can beat the taste of the Oncola, you're right. It's official. Diet Sprite tastes best. Mmm, tremendous. Tasty. Terrific. Crunchy. Tender. Delicious. Great. Big. Fantastic. That's Captain D's 10-piece shrimp dinner. 10 hand-breaded fried shrimp with slaw, fries, and hush puppies at a price hard to believe, but only for a limited time. I like the shrimp. And it's good and fresh and it's plump. That's a good piece of shrimp. Captain D's, a great little seafood. I'm stinging it is. <laughs> WTVY, Channel 4, Dothan, Alabama. Interestingly, it was the anti-federalists of post-revolutionary America who were in favor of paper currency. Usually it's the federalists who oppose hard currency in order to put the bills for the new government. In this case, the anti-federalists were landowners who favored paper in order to pay off their own... Ah, deliverance, it would seem, is at hand. We'll pick this up on Monday. Remember, midterm essays are due on the 29th. Any topic, but it must be a contemporary issue. In other words, don't bother to shell out 10 bucks for warmed over papers on the black market. Well, since this is Harvard, perhaps I should say the gray market. Dr. Fitzgerald? Yes, Mr. Rose. Since you did say any topic, I thought I might do my 1,500 words on President Kennedy's speech tomorrow. Speech? Yes, sir, in Dallas, at the trademark. It's being carried on live radio, and I thought I might do an analysis on it, if that's OK with you, sir. Yes, Mr. Rosen, that would be fine. You go right ahead. Well, that's a splendid paper, Joe, in the New Heritage. I can't say I agree with all your conclusions, but uh, you're always a delight to read. Thank you, Paul. Nice of you to say so. I wasn't expecting you for another month. Well, this isn't a formal status report. It's a, just a friendly visit. I wondered how you were doing. After all, it's been almost uh, two whole hours <laughs> since my last visit. Strange. You spend months, sometimes years at a time, back here in the past, separated from your family. But when you get back to them, it's only a few hours. I'll never get used to it. It's equally hard to leave the past behind. It's hard to give up a whole second life that you've created for yourself. You've made friends, probably fell in love. Not me. 
How can you get close to people when you can't really tell them what you think? When you can't say that your favorite flavor of ice cream, for God's sake, won't be invented for the next 150 years. Sometimes I feel like an eternal observer, doomed always to watch, never to participate, always detached, always remote. Every field historian goes through this, sometime or another. I know, but it's just so damn frustrating. I spent three years studying John Kennedy and his times. I even met him at a reception for McGeorge Bundy. But I never really got to know him. You have a Chinese view of ancestor worship. Kate, I did not create this project just because this man was an ancestor of mine. These are arguably some of the most turbulent times America ever saw. You don't have to go to Dallas tomorrow. You know that? Kate, this is my project. I got the funding. I'm the one who spent the last three years here. I'll see this through to the end. It's just that... I never really got to know him. And now I've got to go watch him... Ken, what's that? It's family keepsake. It's a good luck charm. <sighs> Dated one year after your destination. Against policy. But not strictly enforced. Kate, give me a break, please. Let me have my own particular form of uh, ancestor worship. Well... Have a safe trip to Dallas, Joseph. Sai Jen, Lao Pung Yang. Sai Jen. What'd you say? Well, guess I'll ask you about that in 200 years. Might as well get this over with. Scanning. Systems check. Holographic recorder operational. Operational. Emergency homing device. Operational. The ring becomes separated from temporal risk controls. Wearer of ring will be automatically returned to point of departure. 2172 AD. Sam Hill, did you come from? Cambridge.
All units, rendezvous love field, 1400 hours. Do you copy, Treasury 2? All right. I copy. Thanks, Ted. Treasury 2, over and out. Looks like Mr. Rosen will get to do his essay after all. Pardon me? Nothing. I uh, check out as an upstanding citizen. And then some. You didn't tell me you knew Secretary of Defense McNamara. I don't really. I met him once or twice in Harvard Functions. That's all. Seems he's a big fan of yours. Admired some article you wrote, uh, applying mathematical games theory to historical analysis. Ah. You were in Dallas to hear the president's speech, I take it? Yes, and record him for my class at Harvard. This baby must have some telephoto lens on it for you to have seen a gunman from that distance, hmm? Actually, no. All I saw was a bit of sun on metal. I guess I panicked. It's been lucky you did. Otherwise, this country might be in mourning right now. I hope you don't mind my asking, uh, Mr. Livingston, but exactly where are we going? You met the president before, Professor? Only in passing. Oh, he recognized your name. He wanted to meet with you after his speech. He's cutting short his trip to Texas. Everyone's fairly rattled by the shooting. We're scheduled to rendezvous with him at Love Field in about 20 minutes. Governor, thank you very much. See you again. Mr. President, I believe you've met Dr. Joseph Fitzgerald. This is the man who saved your life this morning. Dr. Fitzgerald, how oh. now you're in your debt? Be honest, mine, Mr. President. I've been wanting to meet you for some time now, although I hadn't anticipated the circumstances. Bob McNamara showed me some of your articles. Very good. Mr. President, I'm afraid I won't be heading back just yet. The damnedest thing, a couple of the meanest looking tornadoes you ever saw just blew into the state. One of them just ripped right through downtown Austin. The other one's headed here. I, uh, better stay and see what I can do. Yeah. Tornadoes? Yes, yeah. I'll take care of your people, Lyndon. Let me know how I can help. Yes, sir. All right, come along, Professor. Even I can't keep the Air Force waiting all day. Come along, uh, to Washington? We'd be honored to have you as a guest for dinner tonight at the White House. Tomorrow morning, we can have you on a plane back to Cambridge, if you like. I, uh, I'd love to. Mr. President, thank you. Oh, uh, Jack. The men who saved my life call me Jack. thinking about strange feeling being shot at in the war it was different impersonal they weren't shooting at you really just the uniform maybe whoever shot at you wasn't shooting at you but the office you represent that may be but nobody ever shot at Eisenhower <laughs> <laughs> you sure you know relation to old honey Fitz my grandfather uh, no I, I don't think so it's too bad According to the press, if you had been a relative, there might have been a place for you in my cabinet. <laughs> you like fencing with the press, don't you? Uh, you take your fun where you can. God knows there's little enough of it in the job itself. When you're campaigning, it's easy enough to get caught up in the excitement of it all. Politics, easy to convince yourself that it's all a game, an invigorating game. But days like today, you know damn well it's not a game. Days like today, days like April 17th, 1961. Bay of Pigs. Damn stupid idea. I should never have gone along with it. Never. Suddenly, I wasn't just politicking. I was responsible for men's lives. It was like having my PT boat sunk again, only this time. This time, I couldn't do anything to save them. You know, my father drummed into us when we were growing up that you needed power to get anything done. Power. But after Berlin, in the middle of crisis, I don't know. No one man should have that much power. No one man should have to have it. You are way ahead of your time. It will take... <laughs> it will probably take another century before people see it that way. If people see it 100 years from now, it will have been worth the wait. Excuse me, Mr. President. There's a radio phone call for you from Defense Secretary McNamara. Excuse me. Oh, and uh, Dallas police called. They've captured a man named Lee Oswald. They're charging him with attempted murder. They believe he's the one who fired him.
Marshal Sincaverly. I've placed our strategic forces on yellow alert. I want you to set up an emergency cabinet meeting for tonight at 7. Rusk is on a plane to Japan. See if you can get him back. I want Taylor, Bundy, and Sorensen. Yeah, and Bobby. Is it anything you can tell me about? Well, it's nothing that won't be on Huntley Brinkley in about an hour and a half, unfortunately. Russian troops just captured West Berlin. Soviet Premier is demanding that we pull our forces out of the rest of Germany, holding West Berlin as hostage. But uh, Khrushchev would never do that. Premier Khrushchev was assassinated today. Three weeks waiting for Halley's Comet? Yep, and I already started celebrating with a Cole Miller life. Uh, light tastes great. Uh... Light's less filling, too, Tommy, and I can't get filled up. I've been waiting all my life to spot this baby. Well, how about one for me? Sure. Wow. Incredible. Well, I was. Uh, nothing, you uh, Listen, uh, I, I gotta run. <laughs> okay, but you're gonna miss it. There. No. Wherever you look, there's only one light beer. Miller Light. I've got a headache this big, and it's got Excedrin written all over it. I've got a headache this big, and it's got Excedrin written all over it. Excedrin, the big headache medicine. More medicine than any regular strength pain reliever. The most medicine you can buy without a prescription. Nothing is stronger. I had a headache this big, but I took Excedrin, and it's gone. Excedrin, from Bristol Myers. Excedrin, the headache medicine. together. It's not just good. It's fantastic. McDonald's new McDLT. Monday on Scarecrow and Mrs. King, a dignitary is marked for murder. What is it? Follow the man! Can Scarecrow and Amanda stop an assassination? Then on Kate and Allie, the girls answer a personal ad. Let's send him a picture of one of our moms. We're dead. Not yet. And will New Heights book achieve the literary merit it so richly deserves? It sucks swamp water. This is not what you could call a simple suicide. Then, can Keckney and Lacey search out the hidden truth? We can't even prove it's murder. Never mind who did it. Where's Miss Marple when we need her? <laughs> I can't give you anything but love, baby. If you're pregnant, now you've got two good reasons to quit smoking. All right, uh, Joe, we're going to have to give you a rain check in that dinner. Feel free to stay the night. In fact, I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist on it. Security precaution. Oh, yes, uh, Mr. President, I understand. There'll be a full staff meeting in Oh, my camera. Where's my camera? Not in the car? I must have left it on Air Force One. Don't worry, Mr. Fitzgerald. We'll have it delivered to you before you leave. Yes, of course. Fine, Mr. Livingston. Excuse me. Uh, thank you very much. Initial effect of intervention in Kennedy assassination. Time distortion caused by interference in history. Subsequent pressure release by tornadoes at intervention site. Insufficient to counterbalance temporal damage. Compute to the extent of damage in the time stream. Massive tears in the fabric of time. Temporal rift of unprecedented proportions. Temporary stabilization achieved by Khrushchev assassination. Long range projection. Continued temporal distortion. Increasing geometrically the longer this timeline remains in existence. Give me the worst and the best case outcomes in this timeline with assigned probabilities. Worst case scenario, nuclear exchange between the superpowers results in total annihilation of biosphere, probability 77%. Best case scenario, surrender of Western Europe within six years, military cost collapse Soviet economy, Soviets blackmail West for food, culminating in agrobacterial war. Result, total annihilation of biosphere within century, probability 12%. You mean there's only 11% possibility of avoiding total war in this timeline? 
zero percent. Eleven percent includes all other scenarios leading to total, total annihilation, annihilation of biosphere. Since this timeline's not viable, give me all options for repairing the original timeline. There exists only one viable option. The Kennedy presidency must end as history originally recorded. Oh, dear God. What have I done? Yes, General, what is it? Sir, one of our NATO B-52s en route to Berlin is under attack by Soviet MiGs. The pilot is requesting permission to return fire. What shall we tell him, sir? Mr. President? Yes, General. Sir, what are your orders? You tell the pilot to defend himself. Yes, Mr. President. God bless you, sir. God bless us all, General. Remarkable. In my years with the Treasury, I've never seen a counterfeit this faithful to men's standards. Whoever did that is an artist. Then it is a counterfeit. It's not something our mint has in the works for next year? No, of course not. How could it be? Other countries stamp reigning sovereigns on their coins, but it's against U.S. policy to mint the image of any living person. Could it be a practical joke of some sort, um, or a prototype of a campaign handout? Maybe one of the president's brothers, or, or the Republicans? I doubt it. I mean, they'd have to know that it was a felony. Oh, what about this Fitzgerald? You're sure his credentials are solid, huh? Maybe a little too pat. All of his papers are in all the right places, but I can't find anybody that knows him or knew him before he started teaching at Harvard. Oh, that's too damn convenient. He's Johnny on the spot to save the president's life. He loses a coin that shouldn't exist. He, he's got three of the president's family names. Well, he, he even looks like he could be a relative, for God's sakes. And with a crisis coming on that's possibly more dangerous than Cuba, the president's confiding in a stranger like he's a long-lost brother. If you ask me, this Dr. Fitzgerald could very easily be a Soviet sleeper. Ray, I find that hard to believe. Sir, I can't think of a better way to get an agent closer to the president than to set up an assassination attempt and have your man save the president's life. Hey, well, what about this coin? Now, what Russian agent carries around a patently phony and illegal coin and then loses it aboard Air Force One, for God's sake? Then there's the camera. Well, what about it? I got one just like it for Christmas last year. With all respect, sir, I don't think you did. I've had metallurgists at defense going over it all night long. Not only can't they take it apart, they can't even open it up. It's made of some sort of weird alloy they've never even seen before. It's harder than steel. It's impervious to x-rays. It's like nothing we have in development. Uh, get Fitzgerald in here now. Uh, Joe, I'll be brief about this. This coin. Where'd you get it? Mr. President, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Oh, after the events of the last 24 hours, Professor, I think I might believe almost anything. Damn it, Joe, I don't have time for mysteries. I've got a B-52 over East Germany I haven't heard from in three hours. And thousands of Americans at risk in West Berlin. The Russians won't answer the hotline. I may be looking at another Cuba, so cut the crap and tell me where you got the bloody coin! It's, uh, been in my family for over 200 years. Uh, Dr. Fitzgerald, I'm afraid uh, that answer does strain my credulity. Easy, Professor. This is not a weapon, I assure you. I'm a historian, Mr. President. Sent here from over 200 years in your future to record and observe the events of your era. If you like, I can show you some holographic tapes of other eras, other time periods. I, uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Oh, God help me, I think I believe him. Mr. President, I believe Secret Service rules prohibit an agent from drinking while on duty. Ah, uh, permission granted to go off duty. They're for all of us, Ray. We are related, aren't we? 
You're uh, one of my descendants. Yes, I am. To your health. All right. You're from the future. Why did you choose this moment to make contact with me just now? To observe how I would uh, react to this Berlin crisis? No. I... I didn't know about that. You didn't know? <laughs> how could you not know? 1964. Oh, my God. You came to Dallas to witness an assassination, didn't you? Dear God in heaven. Khrushchev, the Soviet invasion, none of this was supposed to happen, was it? The fabric of time has been bent, distorted beyond its normal shape. And this Berlin crisis would would be the end of the world, wouldn't it? Is there any way to, to undo the damage? Yes. I have to go back, don't I? Mr. President, you can't. Joe, you'll do this for me. I knew we Kennedys always solve our problems within the family. <laughs> Joe, if the family goes on. Oh, yes. And more than that. In my future, we have seen the realization of your greatest dreams. We have eliminated tyranny, war, poverty. And we've moved out among the stars. Due in large part to that first step you made back in 1961. Thank you for telling me that, Joe. I, I see no point in putting this off. If, uh, if there's anyone you'd like to say goodbye to. I wouldn't be able to leave them if I did. And they wouldn't remember anyway, would they? Hey, what do you want me to do? Put this. Put this on. Mr. President, let me. Ray, it's my boat. Activated and return to point of origin. Two, one, seven. What's two, going on? Eight. You took an oath, didn't you, to protect the president's life? Well, you and I still have work to do. We're going back. But before that, I need to make a few changes. Dr. Fitzgerald wasn't the only one with a second life in the past. You, you, you people knew what was going to happen? Some of us drew our research in the even farther future. Dr. Fitzgerald never knew his destiny. No man or woman ever does. What about me? Couldn't my memories change the future somehow? No one can change history. Even the act of traveling in time is a part of history. Dr. Fitzgerald's actions were simply a part of what was. 
So your memories won't change the future because they didn't. Last time I saw him, I couldn't tell him what I knew. All I could say was something in Chinese, a phrase my husband taught me. Sai Jen, Lao Punyo, Sai Jen. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. History records many facts, some of them right, some of them wrong. But let the record show that in any age, good or bad, there are men of high ideals, men of courage, men who do more than that for which they are called upon. You will not always know their names, but let their deeds stand as monuments so that when the human race is called to judgment, we may say, this too was humanity. When you compare Ford Ranger and Chevy S10 to the new two-wheel drive Jeep Comanche, you'll find they're priced about the same. Yet Comanche has the most powerful standard engine, the longest wheelbase, biggest wheels and tires, highest ground clearance, and the largest optional payload capacity. In fact, the more you compare Comanche, the more you'll see there is no comparison. Now get 7.9 financing on two-wheel drive Jeep Comanche. Some days it feels like they're doing its job inside my head. For those headaches, I want strength. Anison, strong enough for sinus headache, common vascular headache, even muscle tension headache. No more headaches! Anison, strong medicine for strong headaches. I tried it, now I believe it. Denorex tingles, tells me it's doing more. Regular head and shoulders, no tingle. Both have dandruff medicine, but Denorex adds an extra anti-itch medicine and conditioner too. Goodbye, head and shoulders. Hello, Denorex. Hey, that was a great answer. Where'd you learn about computers? In the Army. Uh, you were in the Army? Yeah. And now they're helping pay your way through college. How come you know so much? How do you think I got here? Qualify for the GI Bill and the Army College Fund and earn $17,000 for college for only a two-year enlistment or $25,200 for a four-year enlistment. What you doing here? Airborne. You were airborne? Find your future in the Army. You used to jump out of airplanes? Don't go away. In a moment, you'll be crossing back into the Twilight Zone. Don't tell me you like Linda. First times. Hey, does? She does? Good times. What do we do now? Testing times. He has a beautiful soul. I'll bet you anything he comes through. A dollar says he doesn't. Hey, they didn't move the bathroom in here. Fast times. Wednesday. Magic. Tonight on Dallas. A dirty, filthy job, but somebody's got to do it. JR thinks he's one step ahead. Please listen to me. You must leave Martinique. But is he one step behind? This is CBS. A lot of memorable mugs are showing up at parties these days. Don't let me interrupt. Because they can get a Rise and Shine mug for only 89 cents with any purchase. That's the greatest deal I ever heard. It's a terrific value. Relatively speaking. And it's tough, durable stoneware. Never forget, your mug is your friend. How do you get one? Why, it's elementary. Our Rise and Shine mug is just 89 cents with any purchase at Hardee's, where good people go for good food. And great, great mugs. mugs. Can you guess which truck is priced lower than the top five compact pickups in America? Okay, so you needed a hint. Well, now you can get that low-pricey Suzu for even less. Because Isuzu is offering 8.6% financing on all their 1986 pickups. And when Isuzu's are selling with 8.6% financing, you'd better be ready to move fast. Don't miss the 8.6% financing available now at your local Isuzu dealer. WTVY, Channel 4, Dothan, Alabama.
said you'd have it finished today. I'm sorry, honey. I I, I, I went all the way to the parts store, and the, 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 the darn thing still hadn't come in yet. You should have called first. Well, 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 it still wouldn't have been there, Norma. Well, maybe if we didn't have such an old car, then you wouldn't be looking for parts all the time, and I wouldn't have an aching back from walking to the store up and back. <laughs> But don't be like that, honey. I, I, I'll have the car fixed for you tomorrow, for sure. Yes, that's what you said yesterday, for sure. Your dinner's ready. Well, you, you're not eating? I'm not hungry. I'll go. and there's no return address. Well, that's strange. Here, here, why don't you open it? What is it? I have no idea. There's a note on the bottom. Uh, Mr. Stewart will call on you at 8 p.m. I won't be here. And I'm supposed to let some stranger into my home at night? Honey, we, we've got neighbors on both sides of us and upstairs. What, 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 what could happen to well, you? Obviously, you couldn't care. Norma! Come on! Look, 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 you, 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 you are surrounded by people! Talk to the man. At least find out what all this is about. My name is Stewart. I assume you found the button unit. The what? The button unit. The box we left on your doorstep. Yeah, we found it. May I come in? Lovely home you have, Mrs. Lewis. <laughs> what are you kidding? Is your husband home? He works nights. Really? 
Yeah, really. May I sit? <laughs> this won't take much of your time. Inside this envelope is my card and the key that unlocks the dome of the button unit. Fits into this slot in the side, like so. In this way, you can push the button. So? So. When you push the button, two things will happen. First, someone whom you do not know will die. You're kidding. It's an unexpected idea. It takes some getting used to. But let me finish. So the person who dies will be someone you don't even know. And then afterward, you will receive $200,000 tax-free. Hi, honey. What, 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 what are you doing up so late? What, what, what's wrong? I wanted to talk to you. Well, great. Yeah. Wait, wait right there. I, I, I'll get a beer. So uh, this, this guy, did he come? He brought the key to unlock the top. So what's it all about? If we open the top and push the button, somewhere someone who we don't know will die and we will collect $200,000. You're kidding. <laughs> That's what he said? Well, it must be some kind of joke. He was very serious about it. Well, then, then it's a trick. What, 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 this guy with a company or he something? He said he couldn't tell me that. He just kept repeating over and over and over again. The person who died would be someone. You don't? No. That's disgusting. Oh, what's so disgusting about it? What's so you, you, you mean to say you think it's okay? I think it's weird. But ever since he left, I've been wondering, you know? I mean, what is this? Some kind of survey or something? To see who will and who won't push it? Well, we won't push it. Oh, come on. Thousands of people die every day all over the world, Arthur. Norma, what do you think? You think you, you, you're going to press this button and, and this Mr. Stewart of yours is going to pick up the phone and, and somebody's going to go out and kill somebody and, and, then, the, and then Stewart's going to come here and give you $200,000? I mean, I mean, think about it, Norma. It, 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 it's stupid. I don't know what I think. It's such an awful lot of money. It's murder. Oh, come on. I mean, what if it was some old Chinese peasant or something? Or someone with cancer! What if it's somebody's newborn baby? Hold this. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it. There's nothing inside. <laughs> there's, 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 there's no radio, no computer, nothing. You push the button and nothing happens. N no, nobody dies. No $200,000. I'm going to throw this away. If, 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 if this Mr. Stewart comes back, you, 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 you tell him he can find his box in the city dump.
we almost ran out of new tender vittles. Good thing I found Roscoe's favorite new flavor, country dinner. Now he never has to know. Up a little early this morning, huh, boss? New Tender Vittles brand cat food with more meat, fish, and chicken, and three new easy-to-please flavors. Am I forgiven? <coughs> Thanks, buddy. Experience an incredible advance in Gillette shaving smoothness. Atra Plus. The Plus is the white lubra-smooth strip that releases lubricants as you shave. You never felt anything smoother. Atra Plus by Gillette. The essence of shaving. I finally solved the mystery of how light beer from Miller got to be America's favorite light beer. The great taste. Nice case. It's no mystery that there's only one light beer, Miller Light. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Ford Tempo Sport GL turns driving into an adventure with a high output engine, five speed, and sport suspension. Tempo Sport GL can even turn your drive home into a stimulating experience. How was the drive? Oh, uneventful. Get 9.9% .9 financing at your participating Ford dealer now. I don't damn well believe it. He said he'd be back for it, Arthur. He said the units are reprogrammed and used over again. Fine. Great. While you're at it, why don't you push that damn button? Because that's why you really went out there and got it again. I am just going to fix it. No, no, push it, Norma. You like the idea so much, push it. Kill somebody. Don't be an idiot. Go have your shower and I'll make eggs. The car is fixed. That's great, dear. Dr drive it easy the first few hundred miles. Uh, we, 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 we don't want it to blow out again. Did you push it? What? No. What's for dinner? No. I completely forgot. You've been sitting here staring at this box all day, haven't you? It just doesn't seem fair. You know, telling us we could have all that money. Make us think about it. Why don't you push it? 
and get it off your mind. Nothing's going to happen anyway. Mr. Stewart made it sound so simple. But it isn't simple. Don't, don't play this stupid game. It gives me the creeps. I'm gonna push it. Good morning. I've come to take the button unit back. You did push it last night. Only one push to a customer. How did you know? Really, Mrs. Lewis? Did you think we wouldn't know? Well, did somebody... Did, did someone... Die? Yeah. Of course. There's $200,000 in the briefcase. I'll wait while you count it, if you like. You must be Mr. Lewis. How do you do? So, what happens now? Why, you spend the money. And I hope you enjoy it. The button unit will be reprogrammed and offered to someone else with the same terms and conditions. Wait, someone else? Yes. I can assure you it will be offered to someone 
whom you don't know. Welcome back, Brad. All those trips you made paid off. The Avcon people just called and gave us the project. Check your top drawer. There's one more trip I want you to take. Aloha, Brad, and thanks. When there's something special, people know it. What it is, what it is. Old Calais is cruising the night in the city light. Heel shoes and faded blues, it's making the cut so smooth, that's what Calais is. What it is, what it is. You're scaling a lid on a razor's edge, a new four door and five on the floor. Flashing eyes and crimson skies, that's what Olds Calais is. Now get 9.9% .9 financing on all four cylinder Olds Calais models. See your Olds dealer today. You change the way you look. Can you see that? Up close, it's exciting. And I'll tell you something, darling. You look marvelous. No other taste attracts so much attention. Absolutely marvelous. Diet Pepsi, the most refreshingest invention. And not only do you look marvelous, my little 12 ounce darling, but you taste marvelous. No other taste attracts so much attention. You come here often. <laughs> I'm kidding you. I'm a kid. Sunday. The missing man is dead, and a dead man is missing. But who killed him, and where's the body? Whatever's going on here, you're welcome to it. Murder, she wrote. Then, an innocent man runs for his life. I'm not gonna let them do this to me again. Wrongfully accused. I'm innocent. I, I didn't do anything. Of crime he didn't commit. Is that the man who kidnapped and raped you? Can you see what this is doing to my wife? I'm still your husband. A case of mistaken identity turns a promising life into a nightmare. Blind Justice, Sunday. Tomorrow, CBS Sports will present the final of the U.S. Women's Indoor Tennis Championships. Later tonight on Falcon Crest, Terry turns to blackmail. But first, J.R. becomes suspicious of Angelica's scheme on Dallas next. Saturday. You can't advertise for a relationship. But when she does... I get good vibes from this one. She gets results. And what begins as the perfect relationship soon turns sour. Just be sure and take your toothbrush. You want me to love you, but you don't want me to get too close. Are we living together or are we just playing house? Classified Love. Dr. Ethel Percy Andrus retired as a high school principal just before her 60th birthday. When some people stop serving and wait to be served, she was just beginning. She helped her colleagues by forming the National Association of Retired Teachers. Realizing that the problem went beyond teachers, she founded the American Association of Retired Persons. Today, 18 million strong, it leads the fight to help older people live lives of independence, dignity, and purpose. Its motto, her words, to serve, not to be served. More than just her words, they were her life. I'm Elizabeth Dole with an American Portrait. Tuesday Live, it's the 12th Annual People's Choice Awards. America picks the winners. Join your favorites, over 50 stars, with host John Denver, Tuesday. This is CBS. Mmm, tremendous. Tasty. 
terrific, crunchy, tender, delicious, great, big, fantastic. That's Captain D's 10-piece shrimp dinner, 10 hand-breaded fried shrimp with slaw, fries, and hush puppies at a price hard to believe, but only for a limited time. I like the shrimp. And it's good and fresh and it's plump. That's a good piece of shrimp. Captain D's, a great little seafood place. I'm stingy it is. <laughs> The world is filled with attractive investment opportunities. Unfortunately, the best don't hang around for long, and an opportunity lost is lost forever. Fortunately, there's one bank with a growing reputation in the investment world, a knack for offering you just the right product at just the right time. M-South. As we see it, you have two choices. You can let growth opportunities pass you by, or you can let us give you a hand. WTVY, Channel 4, Dothan, Alabama. I'm sure Jack is going to be a happy man to the end. Tomorrow, we will own Mariner Shipping. You've never married. Would you believe me if I told you that I never found the right woman? Till now. Mr. Potemkin, you know J.R. Ewing? Yeah, good to see you right. again. Yeah, Mr. Potemkin. And this is Dimitri Marinus. I was the only one that cared about him. I'm the one who feels the grief. And I'm the one who was cheated out of marrying him. No, I was.